7 a.m. So are we on day 20? I believe we are, day 20. Hey, Lori. So welcome to our morning meditation. I'm so glad that you're joining us. I'm so glad you're making this a routine. The constant practice is the way we achieve results in anything, whether it's uh, liberation from suffering or whether it's building a business or completing a project for school. Consistent practice and work, so. We are talking about the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali from the book, The Science of Yoga. And today we're going to discuss Sutra 15. This is, in my opinion, one of the most important in the entire teaching because we are introduced to the term Vairagya. The term Vairagya is central to yogic philosophy. If your goal in life is to help reduce suffering for yourself and those around you, the concept of Vairagya is of paramount importance. Now, somebody who practices vairagya is referred to as a vairagi, a vairagi, just like somebody who practices yoga is a yogi. Somebody who practices vairagya is a vairagi. And since this is something that I aspire to, it's a goal of mine, that's my Instagram handle, Vegas Vairagi. <laughs> it's a lofty goal, <laughs> exactly. So in Sutra 15, we are introduced to the term. Now, let me give you a little etymology. The term vairagya is derived from two words. Um, the term raga means attraction. Raga means attraction. So vairagya means absence of attraction. So let me read a little bit about that here. Vairagya means the absence of any attraction towards objects which give pleasure. So the absence of desire for objects that give pleasure pleasure. The question may be asked, why absence of attraction only to reduce suffering? Why not the absence of repulsion also? Here's the key. Because attraction and repulsion are a pair of opposites, as I've mentioned many times as they relate to emotions. So attraction and repulsion are a pair of opposites and repulsion binds the soul to the object of desire as much as attraction does. Think about that for a moment. When we despise something or we strongly dislike, God forbid we use the word hate, when we have that type of energy with some object or person or situation, that's an attraction. There's a connection that we've built there. So repulsion and attraction both bind our soul to that object. So non-attachment means freedom from both attraction and repulsion. Now. When you practice that, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy life. It doesn't mean that we can't experience a fulfilled life. In the first week of our meditation series together, I talked about what joy actually is. And joy is not something that we receive from doing something we like. Joy is a natural state of our soul, of our higher self, that we allow to manifest into the physical world when we're in a state of deep presence. We can enter into that state while doing the dishes. Usually we don't because it's challenging because we have emotions around doing the dishes and thought forms. It's usually easier to find joy when you're doing something beautiful like hiking in Red Rock and you see the sunset. But that same state of presence can be achieved sitting in the corner facing the wall, <laughs> sitting on your hands in trouble. So why is it important to practice vairagya? Because desire keeps, let's use the word wanting. That's Eckhart Tolle's terminology. If our mind, if our consciousness is, a, is in a constant state of wanting, whether it's an attraction to something or a repulsion of something, it keeps the mind in a constant state of agitation, according to the author of The Science of Yoga. Constant wanting keeps the mind in a state of agitation. And then how is it possible to meditate? How is it possible to calm the mind and transcend our lower nature and reach that state of pure joy and pure bliss that is our higher self. Good morning, Celine. I see you there. That's why it's important to practice non-attachment. Does not mean we cannot experience joy, experience a fulfilled life, have beautiful interactions with others and have deep relationships. It doesn't mean that. It means that we're not bound to the other object, to the person or situation. There's a specific meditation technique that we will practice together now that comes from 
my teacher Rod Stryker, it's a visualization to increase vairagya, to release attachments. Find your spine erect and find your groundedness. Feel your hips and your legs grounded to the earth in any seated pose that's comfortable. Allow the eyes to close. Start to breathe. Place a gentle constriction in your throat for subtle ujjayi. Just sense the vibrations of your air, of the breath, in the throat. And then begin to deepen the breath. The breath is the easiest doorway to walk through to a still mind. As you work to deepen the breath, ensure that your body is relaxed. Make sure the legs are relaxed. Make sure that your hips and pelvis are unclenched and untensed. Make sure your belly is soft. Chest is clear and light. Your shoulders are relaxed. Hands are resting on the knees. Neck and face are both relaxed. Your forehead is unfurrowed. No scrunching up of the forehead. So the physical body is relaxed. I want you to turn your attention inside the body. It's possible to do this. Sense what's happening inside your physical form. Place your awareness inside the body and sense there. Your consciousness is not rooted in the brain. You can move your consciousness to any part of the body, the inner body you choose. Continue to breathe smoothly and deeply and sense your inner body, maybe perhaps the organs, your digestive system, the respiratory system. Ensuring that the breath is smooth, resolving any pauses, any roughness in the breath, any shallow breathing, Now I'd like you to draw your attention to the place around the navel, around the belly button, and slightly behind it, inside the body. Become attuned to any feelings or thoughts or emotions that are less than helpful to us. We all have ideas or energy that is less than constructive, is inhibiting to our progress, is perhaps negative, that we would like to release that it attaches us to situations that binds us to negativity. Just be aware of those feelings inside of us and those thoughts because we all have those to a certain degree and sense that they're gathered behind the navel in the lower abdomen. Just pause there and develop your awareness that we do have non-constructive thoughts. We do have attachments. We do have some negativity. Just acknowledge and accept. Now we'll work with a colored light, preferably a violet or purple light. This is a visualization technique where we begin to purify and cleanse and release as much of this negativity and heaviness and darkness as possible. So we'll use our breath. As we inhale, there's a sense of lifting all of the negativity and the heavy thoughts from the navel up into the heart center where there's a showering, a bathing, a soaking of purple or violet light in the heart. And then we pause the breath, that's the inhalation. And as we exhale, we send all of that purple light and cleansed thoughts, cleansed negativity up and out through the top of the head. The inhale lifts darkness and heaviness and negativity to the heart. Pause the breath, purple violet light 
cleanses and transforms. And then the exhale sends it up further and emits it, projects it, jettisons it out through the top of the head. That's the exhale. And the cycle repeats over and over. Whatever is preventing us from living our fullest and best existence on earth, lift it to the heart, bathe it, purify it in violet light, and then exhale it out the top of the head. Continue the cycle over and over. Keep lifting any dullness, any inertia, any attachments from the navel to the heart. Pause the breath, cleanse and transmute with purple light. Then exhale out the top of the head. It's vital that the power of your violet light in the heart, it's vital that this is stronger than the power of the negativity that's behind the navel. The transformational power of the heart is all powerful. And the process of purification is the process of freedom, liberation, pure lightness, pure consciousness. And now relax the technique, relax the active motion of energy movement, and just rest, soaking, showering the entire body, the entire mind in violet light. You have the knowingness now that you have become lighter, you have become more free, more buoyant, more spacious, a vessel for quality conscious experience in life, not attached and unweighted down by past expectations. Let's take a deep inhale together, please. One more like that. Breathe in. All the way in and hold the breath this time. Continue to sense the purple light swirling inside and outside of you. Open the mouth, exhale. Understanding that Quality experiences and connections can be had without this constant wanting for any situation, any outcome to be a certain way. This is the solution for suffering. Please bring your palms to the chest. And honor yourself. Bow the chin. Namaste.